there and welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about cord sheets today. I'm going to show you an example of a cord sheet. We're going to actually use jingle bells today and we're going to dive into what is a cord sheet, how do we decipher a cord sheet, and how do we create a simple accompaniment for a cord sheet. So join me for this quick guide to cord sheets in 4-4 time signature. What is a chord sheet? Well, simply put, a chord sheet is lyrics with chord letters above them. This is a very simple form of a chord sheet for the chorus of Jingle Bells. Now, as we look at this chord sheet, I want you to notice that some of the chords, there's a longer space after them, and some of them, there's a shorter space after them. So be aware of those. The chords are generally above the words where the chord change needs to happen. So for example, we have jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. So you can see how that chord change is going to be more quick than the other chord changes earlier in the line. When you're first looking at a chord sheet, you want to block out the chords that are in the chord sheet and decide on your inversions. If you're not familiar with inversions, I have two videos that will really help you with inversions. The first one is understanding and creating chord inversions where I break down what an inversion is and how to make it. The second video is mastering inversions with smooth transitions, which goes through once you've learned how to create the inversions, it takes you step by step how to make smooth transitions in a chord progression. I'll link those in the video so you can easily access them. I'm going to block all the chords first, not necessarily in order, just to get a feel for what our chords are. So we're going to start with C in first inversion. So then we can easily move to F and then back to C. And then we also have a D7 that comes after a C and then a G. And then if you look at the bottom line of the chord progression, we have F, C, G7, C. So let's look at that order. So we would have F, C, G7, and then C. So that is the basic blocking of the chords. It's really important practice to do so that when you're ready to add an accompaniment, you already know what, what inversions you want each of your chords to be. Let's look at a couple of accompaniment patterns for this chord sheet. Now this first one is going to be a little more lyrical and can apply to a variety of different chord sheets. So we're gonna use left hand root of the chord. So if it says C, you're gonna play a C in the left hand. If it says F, you're gonna play an F in the left hand. So we're gonna stay with the root of the chord in the left hand. In the right hand, we've already blocked our chords so we know the shape and we know where they are. We're gonna use broken chords in the right hand. So if you are not familiar with broken chords, please watch Exploring Broken Chords, Techniques and Variations for Piano Players. That will really help you understand broken chords. So I'm gonna sing this as we go so you know exactly where we are in the chord sheet. So here we go with Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Accompaniment pattern number two is going to be kind of an oompa oompa type of accompaniment. So this is going to be a fun one. This is very appropriate for jingle bells. We're going to use the one and the five in the left hand of each chord. So for C, that means C and G. For F, that means F and C. For D, that means D and A. And for G, that means G and D. And in the right hand, we're going to do blocked chords. We're going to go back and forth. We're going to go left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. 
okay? We're gonna go a little bit faster than this, but I wanted to give you an idea of what the accompaniment pattern is going to be like. So here we go, let's try Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. That gives you a quick guide to chord sheets in four fourths with some very simple steps that you can apply to a variety of chord sheets. Chord sheets are so much fun to work with and by using this quick guide to chord sheets in four four you will be well on your way to making your own accompaniments in four four time signature with a chord sheet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I enjoy hearing from my audience. Please leave me a comment or a question and I will get back to you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.